for like my eyeliner. Look fucking mad. Anyway, we are adding keys. I don't know what could possibly go wrong. We have got one key for this car. Obviously one key is one key too few. So I went to Smart and bought a new key. Thankfully, they come pre-cut. So I can piss around with that. But they don't come working. So we need to break out the X-Tool. Oh, it says P700, but it's a D7. To try and code new keys. What you want to do before doing anything is make sure the battery is okay because if that dies or the battery for the car dies while it's doing it you're in shit fucking creek right so yeah i'm gonna get the old beaten up key and the new spanky new lovely key and we're gonna see if we can code it hello i'm old key oh, hello there i'm new key got your lovely uh, nice housing Nice and clean. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, not again. It's like a bloody greenhouse in this thing. Right, just to show you. Works fine. New key. Does nothing. But you can put it into the ignition because it's obviously cut properly. And it turns. But it will not start the car. Normally you'd get a ready showing up in the bottom corner and no amount of backs forwards will actually start the car because the mobilizer is still on. So we need to code this key to the car, but you can't just code that key to also re-add that one as well. And any keys that you don't add will be taken out. So if you've got two keys and you want to add a third one, you'll have to do your two you've got and a new one. Otherwise, any that you don't code in will be lost. Right, we've got the OBD thingy plugged into the OBD thingy. I'm going to put A key in, doesn't really matter which one it is, just to power it up. Now we're going to go to special functions. Key programming, agreed. Smart. Four, five, three, because it is a four, five, three. If you can turn on the ignition switch, Please turn it on. I have. It's having a little freak out. So what you need to do is make sure the key is on, but the car isn't actually turned on. So not running. So the radio hasn't shown up. And backup flash data and it will be doing this for a while. So we'll be back in a bit. That took fucking ages. That was like 20 minutes, I'm sure. Okay, re-pin code. Okay, right, you have to select your flash file. That first one, see it's 2024. That was for a, a 4.4 I did. This is 2025, so it's 5th of April, okay. Switch so ignition on, off, and then on. So it is off, and then switch ignition on. Wait a second or so, okay. Leave it do its shit, because it's gonna start having all those complaints and shit up here again. While it's doing that, it's writing flash data. Back in a bit. Well, it's done something. It's um, it's gonna kick back into life and turn the hazards on. It's reading, focus, reading EEPROM data. Right, I think we can turn that off. And it has given me a pin code. Obviously, I'm gonna have to cover something up because I don't know whether or not somebody could see it and create a key for my car. Program keys. Continue. That's the code it's just done. Damn it, I'm gonna have to blur that out. Switch off ignition, move key, press OK. Right, keys, that's the original key, that is out, OK. Insert key, switch on ignition, 
So putting the key in, switching over not to turn the car on. Okay. Program success. Program next one. Yes. Move key. Let's take that one out. Get the new one. Insert that one. Turn the key on. Give it a couple of seconds. Okay. Communicating. Program success. No, there's only two I need to do. I've done two, so no. Switch off ignition. It's off. Wait for five seconds. I can't count to five, so I'll have to guess it. Seven, two, five. Turn it back on again. Give it another five seconds. Seven, two, one, five. Number of keys at two. Okay. Finish. Okay. So now, we've got that key, that's the new one, that's the old one. So, yep, yeah, that one locks, and that one unlocks, that's good. A little bit of a side view, this is the old key. There you go, ready. The new key. Can't see bloody thing. That's right. Ready. And there you go. You can read the number of keys. Two. Which is no one and a new one. That was a lot less scary than I thought, but it did take about 45 minutes between reading, writing, and that sort of stuff. And just in case you don't have any keys, I'm not quite sure how good this would be but it has got an all keys lost now I did use that on the 4.4 when I did the keys because one of the keys I was trying to use was a cheap Chinese copy in it and it absolutely refused to code and what actually happened was there was no keys uh, coded to it at all so I did try reading pin code and managed to program the keys so it, it worked when I used it but I obviously had a key that used to be in the car so I don't really know how good it would actually be if you didn't have any at all. I bought this just to clean the dust and dirt out of my workshop. I had no idea. No idea at all. That's good. The idea was to get rid of the leaves and dust and dirt and stuff, but I thought that this was just gonna get rid of that, but what it actually does, it gets rid of the mats as well. <laughs> that mat's got better moves than I have. Right, and once again, for those who missed it, this is the other car. I've just done that one there. So now we've got the facelift version. Plug that in there. Just like a greenhouse in this one as well. Get some air in there. All right, key programming. Get the original key, put it in there. Turn to position one, leave. Warning. Your penis could fall off. Fine. Four, five, three. It is turned on. Yes. And we need to add key. Back up flash data. Okay. The car is now going to absolutely freak out. Just leave it to freak out for a bit. And very, very slowly, this will fill up from 1%, obviously 100%. Take about 20 minutes. And lots and lots of different error messages will show up on there. So we'll come back when that says 100. It's worth noting that it turns lights on. 
one that's panicking. Like they both the high beams are on for absolutely no reason. And those, you can't turn them off, so don't even try. All right, and eventually the lights will go out and it'll come up with the name of your backup. It's worth remembering what that ends in at least. Three, four, eight. Okay, finish. Do we need to read pin code? Okay. Here's the original key to switch on, which I have done. It is on but not started. So operate this function in his backup flash data, which we've just done. We need to do that. And remember it ended in 348, so I'll select that one. And OK. OK. Switch ignition off. Wait. And then turn the ignition on. But don't start it. Wait some seconds. OK. And again, it's now going to start turning lights on and panicking and shouting about things that's actually nothing wrong with it at all. And then just come up with write and flash data. Again, panicking. And we'll come back when it's uh, 100. And again, let's turn the hazards on for some reason. Let's reboot the car. Just wait for it to read the EEPROM data. Okay, so it ends in D58. Okay, program keys. Yes, ends in D58. Yes, yes. Switch off ignition key. Press OK. Insert ignition key. This is the original one. Wait a while. Press OK. Weather program another one. Yes. So remove that key. And go there. New one is here. Put it in. Wait a second. Wait for the lights to go out. OK. Communicating. Success. Do you want to program another one? No, I've only got two, so no. Switch off ignition. Wait for five seconds. Ignition on. Wait for the lights to go out. Yep. Okay. Number of keys memory two. Okay, finish. This is the new one. This is the old one. Look for the ready. There you go. Ooh. Ready. There's the new one. Ready. So there's the original, the old key. There's a new key. Close that door so it stops my spaz now. There we go. Done. And just to be sure, it's the original key, key rings, lock, and unlock, new key, lock, unlock. Simple as that. Right, I'm happy with that. I'll put the links to the whatever I used in the description, Patreon, that sort of shit. I'm still trying to get a project car. Uh, for some reason, there's not many um, 451 turbos on Copart. And when you find the ones that have got turbo on them, they're either written off to fuck, uh, which I don't really want, or they don't run. And there's one I thought, it looks all right. The had fairly low mileage. The, it didn't run. But I thought, well, I'll, I'll give it a go anyway. Of course, it didn't go for what they wanted for it. So uh, I think I won it for like 500 quid or something. And then they sent me a message going, well, if you want to win it, you can have it for two grand. Or stick up your fucking hole, you pricks. Copart are fucking shit. You know, I don't need a, a running one, so I might have to get a... Uh, on turbo mind you even then chance are it's gonna be an MHD. I don't really want an MHD but I keep looking. Otherwise this space here is gonna be full of nothing and no videos. It's nice outside. Fuck is that thing up there? Christ. So yeah hopefully 
We'll be back on doing something next week, maybe, I don't know. Okay. I'm sure some of you lazy assholes will be asking me what the part number is for the 453 key. There you go, A453-760-0401. You have to go into a, a smart dealer with all of your details. You'll need your V5C and that proof of who you are and probably proof of address. Then all the, the, the keys. Uh, uh, go on, finger, that one there. Yeah, they're all the keys and they'll turn up pre-cut to fit your car, but you just have to code it. Instrument clusters, what else we got? Yeah, it's not going to communicate with the car unless the uh, power's on. Switch on the ignition, but don't start the engine. They could have said that in the previous one, to be honest, and it helped. Device is connected to the network, your penis. Yeah, it is on. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, that's in the way. Right, so currently mileage 21229. 21229. Oh dear. Oh dear. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do that. That is a bit naughty. Uh, but you, you could do that if you really wanted to. Thank you.